we're going to talk today about increasing gross margin. One of the best ways that you, as a business owner, can go about figuring how to improve profitability without increasing sales. So one of the ways, one of the best ways to improve gross margin is by increasing throughput or increasing utilization. So we're going to talk about it in terms of the manufacturing sector. And we're going to say that this is our manufacturing building. Woohoo, there's our smokestacks. And we're going to put stuff in here and we're going to have it come out as a finished good with a bow on it right there. When things come through here, and if they come through here at a 10%, at a 100% efficiency rating, that means that we're going as fast as we possibly can. But nearly no one on the planet is going as fast as they possibly can. And what happens if we can increase this by 10%, if we can go from 80%, as we say, to 90%, an increase of 10%, what we will do on a 50% gross margin item is we will improve our gross profit by 5% likely. And what does that do? Let's say this is your 100, let's say this is a 50% cost of goods sold, you're now at a 45% cost of goods sold, which is going to put you at a 55% gross profit, which is going to take your prof uh, profitability on a 35% SG&A from 15 to 20%, an increase of 33% in profitability. So the exciting thing here is, what can we do to motivate workers to do this? Well, if we have a $10 million business and we've got a 5% increase in our gross margin, how much extra dollars do we have? Well, 5% of 10 million, or $500,000. Now, what if we could somehow share it with our workers to get them to improve efficiency, to get them to work more effectively um, without paying them any overtime, which will kill gross profit? So now we're all of a sudden sharing this back. If we paid them an extra $250,000, we're sharing with them in the increased efficiencies and increased opportunity that we have and hopefully motivating them to get this done at a 10% more efficient rate.